Uh, drive in a little tough this Awful. morning. Really bad, depending on where you are. The good news is it's the holiday, so I think that's going to help us out. But it's going to snow for the next several hours, you guys. We're tracking this President's Day storm. A lot of snowfall reports. Here's a handful of them, at least. Three inches in Clinton, three inches in Hopkinton, Holbrook, two and a half right now, Alston, two inches, two inches in Littleton. And just had a report from Larry in Centerville on the Cape of an inch and a half of snow, where it continues to come down in spots this morning. So if you do have to be out, use caution. Take it slow out there. We are talking about snowfall continuing. Continuing for the next several hours at steadiest right now in the deeper blues. So from Boston Point South back down to the Upper Cape, temperatures I've plotted on here as well. You notice are at or below freezing. Uh, obviously depends on where you are in terms of road treatments, but it's going to be a little bit slick. We have a little burst of moderate to heavy snow from Quincy stretching back over to Hull right now. Gets a little bit lighter north of town, north of Boston, traveling along 93. Flurries and light snow showers between 128 and 495. Steady snow on the south shore all the way back down to Cape Cod to the islands as well. And this will continue over the next several hours. We may get a brief mix on the Vineyard and Nantucket. Then by, let's say, 10, 11 a.m., the tapering of the snow starts. There'll be some pockets of light snow. You notice this is a map at 4 p.m., right on through the afternoon, kind of off and on, with a few lingering snow showers this evening. But the tail end will wrap up towards the evening hours. How much additional snow? So this is on top of what you already have. Notice many of us end up with an additional one to three inches. So in terms of a snowfall total, that puts us around the three to six mark for a lot of us here. Just north of Boston, back down to the Upper Cape. Uh, it's kind of on the higher end of these totals, two to three inches north of that, and then back down to the Outer Cape and Nantucket as well. The storm departs tonight. The skies clear out. Our Tuesday is quiet, sunshine from start to finish. It will be chilly, the breeze gusting occasionally over 20 miles per hour. Wind chill will be running in the teens and 20s tomorrow. Wednesday, high pressure crests right over us, and that means a lighter wind, which makes a huge difference. We start with sun on Wednesday. We end up with mainly cloudy skies by the evening, and that's ahead of the next disturbance. We'll bring areas of snow and then a changeover to a wintry mix and rain. Wednesday evening and night, it should be pushing out of here and ending as rain early on Thursday morning. High temperatures today, then upper 20s to mid-30s when you get back down to the south shore. So there'll be some melting that occurs and then a refreeze tonight as temperatures drop back into the single digits and teens for most of us. Mostly clear skies tonight, a gusty breeze tonight and tomorrow. So even though we'll be up around 30, for high temperatures for our Tuesday. The wind chill again will be in the upper teens and 20s for most of the day. Wednesday, a much lighter wind. High right around or just over 30 degrees for most of us. Again, tomorrow is quiet. Wednesday, we start off quiet and then the clouds roll in. Wintry mix changing over to rain will be ending on Thursday morning. Highs jump into the mid 40s on Thursday afternoon. Quiet to end the week right around 40 on Friday and to start the weekend with another round of a wintry mix possible by later on Sunday. So